Hey fam, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to History Highlights with Land. We are rounding out Black History Month. And what a way to end the month with Black people built that. It's no secret that much of this country was built on the backs of African American slaves. Black people helped create schools, churches, and municipal buildings across the country. A black man even helped design the blueprint for Washington, D.C. As we celebrate Black History Month, check out these iconic American buildings designed and built by black people. The White House. African American slaves were involved in every aspect of the construction of the White House, including clearing the land, transporting building materials, carpentry, and bricklaying. The National Archives have recorded of over 120 names of people listed as Negro hire, who worked with white laborers from the United States and Europe. But as you probably could have guessed, the slave owners, rather than the slaves themselves, were paid for their work. St. Jude's Children's Center. St. Jude's Children's Center's research hospital founded by Danny Thomas called on his friend, well-known black architect, Paul R. Williams, to design the original hospital building, dedicated to caring for children diagnosed with cancer in 1962. The Beverly Hills Hotel, inducted as the first black member of the American Institute of Architects, in 1923, Paul R. Williams, known for designing fabulous celebrity homes for stars like Frank Sinatra, Lucia Ball, and Desi Arnaz. He also put his signature stamp on the Beverly Hills Hotel, choosing the pink and green colors and the font for the iconic sign, as well as designing the Polo Lounge and the Crescent Wing, the U.S. Capitol Building. In addition to the White House, African American slaves worked with free blacks and white laborers on the construction of the United States Capitol Building. In 2012, Congress added a marker featuring a block of sandstone and a bronze plaque to honor the contribution African-American slave made to the building. Tuskegee Institute. The first black student at Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Robert Robinson Taylor, was the first accredited black architect in the United States. After graduation, he went to work at Tuskegee Institute, where he designed 25 campus buildings, including a home for the school's founder and first president, Booker T. Washington. Taylor is also the great-grandfather of Valerie Jarrett, senior advisor to President Obama. Wall Street in New York City is another one. New York's Wall Street is known around the world as the center of America's financial system. But few people know that African-American slaves built the wall, after which Wall Street is named. The wall was built in 1653 in Lower Manhattan to protect the Dutch settlers from New Amsterdam from British invasion. The wall stood until 1699 
when the British took control of the area and named it New York. 16th Street Baptist Church is yet another one. Founded in 1873 as the first colored Baptist Church of Birmingham, Alabama. 16th Street Baptist Church was the first black church in Birmingham. Black architect Wallace Rayfield was picked to design the church building on 16th Street, a popular meeting place during the Civil Rights Movement. The church is also the site of a tragedy where a bomb was set off by the Ku Klux Klan that killed four girls and injured another one in 1963. Railroads is another one. The development of the transcontinental railroads in the early 19th century created a new and more efficient way to move people and products across the country. Much of the credit for the construction goes to African-American slaves who were used to build much of it. National Museum of African-American History and Culture. The National Museum of African-American History and Culture opened in 2016 as the 19th Museum of the Smithsonian Institution and the only national museum dedicated to black culture. Located in the National Mall, the museum's lead designer was Ghanaian-British architect David Ajayi. Washington, D.C. Pierre Charles Leffant gets credit for designing the plans for Washington, D.C. in 1791, but he had a team of surveyors helping him, including Benjamin Benecker, a self-taught mathematician who served as an official assistant surveyor. University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. The first black undergraduates at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, received their degrees in 1955. However, African-American slaves built most of the first campus buildings of the country's oldest public university in 1793 and maintained them until 1865. In 2018, for the school's 25th anniversary, Chancellor Carl L. Folt apologized for the school's relationship to slavery. St. Paul, Minnesota. Clarence Wingington didn't have a degree or a certification in architecture, but after earning the highest score in his group on a qualifying exam for a senior draftsman position with the city of St. Paul, Minnesota, he made history as the first black municipal architect in the country. During his time with the city, Wingington designed schools, fire stations, and park buildings. Monticello. Thomas Jefferson's Monticello is a massive Virginia estate that hosts tours daily. Although Jefferson was one of the authors of the Declaration of Independence and wrote all of that stuff about all men being created equal, he owned more than 600 slaves in his lifetime, and his grand home was built using slave labor. The first black graduate of the University of Pennsylvania's Department of Architecture Julian Abel's impressive resume includes being a primary designer of the West Campus of Duke University, Harvard University's Widener Memorial Library, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, and Philadelphia Central Library, Harvard Law School. A donation to Harvard College from Isaac Royale, Jr. in 1781 was used to establish Harvard Law School in 1817. The only problem is that Royale and his father owned nearly 65 slaves, more than any other slave owner in the state of Massachusetts. Harvard recently released a detailed report on the school's ties to slavery, along with recommendations, including providing economic and educational support to the descendants of slaves for reparations. So there you have it. A little bit of history on Black people built that. Iconic landmarks created and developed by African Americans. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. Don't forget to subscribe. Word of the year, forward, forward, forward. Love y'all fam.
See you soon.